black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm really craving a pile of chicken tenders, just straight up chicken tenders with some sauces today, like mini dipping sauces. I'm gonna keep them naked and dry and have about five sauces to dip in and I just wanna have a whole ass pile of chicken tenders. So we are going to need to submerge these tenders in something to make them more tender and also have adhesive for our dredge. So we come in with our buttermilk first, cracking in one egg. We're gonna go in with some pickle brine. Give that a whisk. Four chicken breasts cut down into uniform tenders. Going in, mash those around a little bit and then I'm gonna cover this and put this in the fridge for probably like an hour or so. All right, next up we got our dredge here. We're gonna do two cups of just all purpose or a cup and a half maybe. Most usually I would do a mixture of this and cornstarch, but today I wanna see how just flour comes out. So we're doing an experiment, but anyways, teaspoon of salt, we gotta season this up. Nice generous teaspoon of cracked pepper. We got half teaspoon Old Bay seasoning. We got half teaspoon cayenne going in. If it would come out, that'd be great. And then we got teaspoon paprika going in. And then call me crazy, but I put in a half teaspoon of cinnamon. I just like the flavor that it gives it. Just gives it this like, I don't know, just a nice different flavor. Anyways. We gonna whisk that in. All right, five sauces, just pre-made, not mine, not homemade. First up, we got Nando's medium peri peri, delicious. This stuff is something else. Nando's hit a home run with this. Next up, we are going with some honey garlic. Love me a good honey garlic. Thirdly. Another honey based thing. We got the honey mustard. Ooh, and it got cocky. All right, this one, a little bit of a hybrid. Two barbecue sauces mixed together. This is Sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce. And I do like it, but I like to cut it with Kraft's chicken and rib because the Kraft chicken and rib just has like this almost McDonald's barbecue tang. And when you combine this with the sweetness of that, it gets close to a McDonald's barbecue. And of course, mini whisk and combine. Just a little bit of a hack to try to get close to a McDonald's barbecue sauce without doing anything too crazy. And then of course, we got the valley. We got the ranch. And that's it. That is our five sauce. Line up. KK, time to dredge these babies up. So we've had these marinating for a while now and we're going in to our dredge. Just gonna pack her in, pack her in. Shake off excess, pack, pack, pack. Shake off excess, pack, pack, pack. Shake off excess. And then we just repeat process, of course, until we're ready to dunk in our nice hot oil. Beautiful fresh oil, 325. And we're just going in in four to five strip batches at six to eight minutes, probably more like six. And I can't wait. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, we looking so fresh and so clean, clean. Those are looking amazing. Let's go. Perfect tendies coming in, extra piping hot. We got a few more to cook up here we're batching them out but we're just batching them out here but every time we drop the fresh ones we gotta hit them with a little bit of salt while they're hot so let's do that but these are looking fantastic in my opinion right now oh, that's a little little too much on that one all right y'all final victory we're just on the cooling rack right now i like my fingers to come down to like room temp. I love my chicken to set up. But we got a lot of tendies to tend to. Let's plate up. All right, let's stack this plate up with all our tendas. All 
All right, y'all, pile of tenders. Sauce is out waiting in the eating station. Let's go ahead and get to this. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to today's vid. Back in yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> what was that song? Wiz, Wiz Khalifa? Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. That shit was a hit a while ago now. I want to say 20, 2011? Probably 2011. Anyways, speaking of 11 and 12, 11 and 12 year old dream right here. A pile of tenders. Also my dream. Because I love chicken tenders. <laughs> Easily one of my most like favorite just, I don't know, just simple ch fried chicken things. We're pouring in with a Schweppes ginger ale today. I just don't have any room in the front. And I realized I forgot to say before we do anything more, we must pour. So there it is. Before we do anything more, we've already poured. But anyways, I wanted something light, crispy, and refreshing on the palate today. And a ginger ale is just that. I usually do a different batter, like I said, but I wanted to see how a just flour came out today. And I'll say it's looking pretty solid. Now the debate is, which is the first dunk? What am I feeling the most? I think I want to go barbecue. I think I'm going to go barbecue. There you go. Bye for you. And for me. Mm. Yes. It's exactly what I needed. I've been craving a mono meal of chicken tenders for quite some time. Okay, next up, honey garlic. The sheen on that and that drip. Oh, just in time. I haven't had a video taste this good in quite some time. One thing I will say is I think the oil being so new, it's almost like it needed to have already some fries to get the right color. But that being said, the next dunk is the Nando's mild or medium it's got like a a real bright lime twist to it mm. and it is amazing on chicken Light, light little cross contamination with the ranch. Mm. Even though it's a medium, it's definitely got a nice little kick to it. Okay, going in <clears throat> with that ranch. The reason why I needed to make this vid was Popeyes. 
drop their new chicken nuggets. And they look and sound amazing. Like aud audibly, the crunch. So I've just been fiending for those, but my city, of course, doesn't have a Popeyes, but apparently we have one coming. We're so late to the game. <clears throat> it was released in the no local newsletter, but who knows how long that'll be. Probably a year away. Hard to beat honey mustard. It may be all time best bit for tenders and nuggets. I also watched some other content with like Chick-fil-A and all the sauces, like the all the filet sauces. <clears throat> and I've never had the luxury of even trying Chick-fil-A. Soft game looks honestly almost untouchable. They look like they just get it. Hard to say who's got the best tenders in the game, but Popeyes are quite good. I feel as if I've had some really good ones at like Applebee's before. Arby's are pretty solid. And there's a chain restaurant here called Jack Astor's. There was a bunch of them in, in Toronto when I lived there. And they had bang and chicken tenders. Super bang. I say this batter is pretty good, but It's definitely not like the most perfect. It's not as, you know how KFC gets those like sharp flakes on their chicken? And that crazy crunch. This is like halfway there. Still super good though. The buttermilk pickle juice also made the insides remain so tender. Pickle juice being the extra key in that. The 
It definitely works magic. Mm. And y'all have no idea how bad I miss Popeyes. First of all, I still haven't tried their chicken sandwich. You know, the one that people like fought and went to jail over? Still haven't got to try it. And I just miss everything. I miss their sauces, the blackened ranch, the sweet chili heat. I miss the coleslaw. I miss the mashed potatoes. I miss the chicken. I miss those spicy fries, the Cajun fries. Truly jonesing. For some Popeyes. Also, Taco Bell. I miss it so much. I wish we could get one back. There's just something so special about Taco Bell. When you get and eat it, like face value, it just looks like not like meh, but it's just got a magic to it. That cannot be replicated. Okay, one last one, and then I'm saving the rest of these to do a quick like flash fry with my next video to put on top of something that I've also been craving that requires fried chicken pieces. And it's so hard to pick a favorite sauce. I will say this though, I often forget how good honey garlic is. In my world, it doesn't get the credit that it's due. It's fair shake. Every time I eat it, I go, why am I not using this more? Absolutely delicious. All right. Six left for a next video that will conclude this one try try it try recreating it very delicious till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true